What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. Sup, guys? And today we're going to be, once again, talking about plastic-free packaging. Mm-hmm. Now that we've gotten a few figures from Black Series specifically in plastic-free package form... Yeah, it's we, here to stay. Yeah, we thought we would revisit the topic, kind of give like more of like our you know final thoughts on yeah. how we feel about it. Now that we've gotten a few figures, you know, are we still keeping the packages or yeah, are we throwing them away? Ultimately, it's like, what do we do with it now? Mm -hmm. Now that it's here to stay... What are we going to do with it? And also, a quick shout out to the 1313 Podcast for sending us their shirt. Yeah, nice little podcast on YouTube. A nice group of young, energetic fellas. So if you like energetic fellas and Star Wars, <laughs> YouTube search the 1313 Podcast. Thanks, guys. First, let's just get into... Our initial, just like, it's here, we've had a few figures in the plastic free packaging. How are we feeling about it? A, we're openers. Right. I mean, the quick answer to that is I don't care because we're openers. We're gonna open this, we're gonna display our figures, you know, on shelves, mm -hmm. get our nice little setups going. We really don't care about the packaging. But specifically with the plastic free packaging, you know, it's like you open it up and the figure, it's like in this cardboard coffin with wax paper. Mm -hmm. The accessories are in a little wax paper baggie. Right. Kind of does look weird, but it's, again, we're openers, so I don't care. I will say there's less of a chance of warping. True. Especially with trooper helmets. Yeah, and sometimes they actually do put the accessories and like a little cardboard protective mm. thingy it's yeah. not all the time right but some, i know like some the packages. electro staff that came with the kx security droid mm -hmm. so it's nice to know that the accessories are safe when they do like longer stuff like that and again the warping is a pretty big issue with like clones and stormtroopers mm -hmm. and i would say the plastic free packaging will decrease the amount of warping that we see I do not like that they use renders right. on the package. I still don't like it. We've talked about that before. Like there was that Luke Skywalker from the Mandalorian mm -hmm. that the render had the clasp. Then the official Hasbro shots didn't have the clasp on the cloak I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But then the actual figure had the clasp. Right. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? The other thing I really like too is on the spine, how it kind of gives you like the stats of the figure, mm -hmm. tells you how tall it is in inches and centimeters, and then also kind of shows you everything that's included. Mm -hmm. I think that is also like probably the best innovation in terms of what goes on on the actual outside of the packaging. Right. We just have this one here yeah. because you threw a lot of years away. So we Spoilers. just. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's fine for what it is but like i said we just don't care because we're openers now i totally understand if you are a mint on card collector and you can't see what's inside the box and you can't really display your collection on the wall mm -hmm. i totally get that honestly you don't have to comment that because like i agree like you don't have to convince me i think Right. It was ultimately not really a good move for everyone, like if we're including everybody. Mm -hmm. But for you and I, obviously, we don't care. Right. We're openers. We were openers before, and we're still openers now. So right. it doesn't affect us. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Like We do understand that for people who kept it mint on card, that mm. this, is a, this is a travesty. And it really is. I know if I was a mint on card collector i mean obviously there is plenty of mint on card stuff behind True. us but <laughs> still if i was like 100 percent, yeah i would be extremely upset that you know my favorite action figure line now is pretty much pointless for me to collect but maybe this could be a good chance mint on card collectors open one of those bad boys up and just see <laughs> what you've been missing i was gonna say that <laughs> as well like no offense to how anyone collects oh, collect absolutely. how you like yeah. how you love do whatever you want but i couldn't Im like imagine not experiencing articulation 
imagine not fiddling with accessories yeah so hopefully there's at least a few of you out there who will make that jump to just open your figures and so that's our brief thoughts on the actual like packages themselves still don't like that they're using the render mm -hmm. i think they totally should be using a real image of the figure 100 percent. so let's just move on we've covered it extensively we don't care about the plastic free packaging the design of the box or whatever it is mm -hmm. now the main question I wanted to ask for this episode is what are you doing with your plastic free packaging? Because you and I both have kept our Black Series packaging because it also begs the question of like what is a full product? Because mm -hmm. for the longest time I've considered the packaging as part of the product so I've kept it. Right. Because it's like if I throw away my packages, I used to feel like oh, I'm just paying full price for loose figures. Mm -hmm. Now I've kind of flip-flopped. So I want to pass the question to you. What are you doing with your PFP? Well, it was easy to throw away the Marvel Legends PFP boxes that I've got so was far. Was it though? <laughs> yeah. Well, besides <laughs> that one, I haven't tossed it yet, but it will be tossed actually. Right. Uh, so the Marvel Legends ones, because I still collect a lot of Spider-Man Marvel Legends, so those were super easy to toss because they were Marvel Legends. So I was already like, well, I'm not going to keep these boxes anyway. I don't keep my Marvel Legends boxes. So it already felt pretty easy for me to get rid of those. And then just today, before we were filming, we knew we were going to be shooting this episode, but I thought I'd give it a shot. So I threw away <laughs> the uh, KX security droid package <laughs> and i also threw away the uh, jedi survivor b1 battle droid package is there anything in here no that's the answer to the question get rid of that plastic free packaging like yeah it's almost pushing me to that edge of just getting rid of everything because i just look at it it's some of it is kind of flimsy too mm-hmm Oh yeah, the cardboard. The, the new plastic-free boxes are like specifically flimsy, so right. I really don't feel bad throwing them away. I think we're also just getting to a point in our collections where we legitimately are going to have to consider what we're going to do with all of our action figure boxes because we do <laughs> keep all like majority mm -hmm. of our boxes. The only thing I don't keep are dc multiverse and marvel legends everything else that i collect though i keep the packaging so right today though once i threw those packages away recycle them i should say <laughs> i kind of got bit by the bug and went on a little spree of Ooh. opening all my other bins and mm. i kind of just picked out the black series like red and black boxes that are like you know like the sequel trilogy figure stuff and like things that you know even if you tried to sell them with the box it wouldn't what? be that much right so i ended up getting rid of like about 50 ish boxes today Whoa. and it felt really good like not gonna lie i was like wow i think i might actually fully commit to this idea right especially after our conversation with robo mm -hmm. yeah because like i was saying earlier i used to just get the impression that the box was like the full deal it was right. the full package so if i get rid of the box it's like kind of like getting rid of some of that twenty dollars or so that i spent yeah but now i just don't care especially when i have accepted the fact that i can definitively say i'm never going to sell my black series collection mm -hmm. i know a lot of you guys out there wouldn't be able to say the same and i have sold some and over the years things will get filtered out but the collection as a whole and i was kind of talking about this on the stream how you know we've had this youtube channel for seven years that's like a chapter of your life mm -hmm. and the black series is associated with the youtube channel and it's just like I know I'm never going to sell my Black Series collection. Right. But now that we have the plastic-free packaging, it is a lot easier to just recycle it, to toss it and be like, I am paying for the figure. I don't... And we also don't care about resale value, mm -hmm. just in general. We have these figures because they look cool on our shelves. 
And honestly, I hope that's why the majority of the collecting community uh, with the Black Series is into it. Not for resale value, because it's so, like, you can't really predict which one is going to be super expensive right. down the line. It's so random. And, yeah, I just, I buy figures because I want cool things on my shelf. It's not about resale value. So, as, like I said, especially that it's just the plastic-free packaging, I'm like, it made that push so much easier mm -hmm. that I'm just going to recycle it. I'm paying for the figure. Honestly, if Hasbro could sell them loose somehow, yeah. maybe a couple dollars less, <laughs> I feel like I would do that just at this point. Literally just ship them in the wax paper in like a bubble <laughs> yeah. mailer and Instead of plastic-free packaging, how about no packaging <laughs> at all? Matter of fact, cancel packaging. Yeah, no more packaging. The new 2023 campaign, we are anti-packaging. So when figures come to the store, they just literally throw them on the on the shelf loose. Yes. <laughs> no, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the answer to the question is, yeah, now that plastic-free packaging is here to stay, I'm just going to recycle it. Yeah, it certainly is a lot easier to just take the figure out, take the accessories out and go, all right, throw that in the garbage. I don't know what it is that makes it feel so different, but there is just something there where it just it's much easier to get rid of and mm. then like i said you know it led me to start getting rid of some other packaging as well so i might be doing a little bit more purging here soon because <laughs> there's a lot of boxes yes and i know you're in the same boat with right. me so yeah. maybe once you throw away your couple plastic free packaging boxes you'll uh you'll get <laughs> bit by that same bug too mm -hmm. i probably will and i'll probably make a video on it Definitely let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are you guys going to do with your plastic free packaging now that it is here to stay? Again, this isn't so much like a, do you like plastic free packaging or do you not like it? Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to comment that you don't like. We know if you're <laughs> a mint on card collector, it's going to happen and anyway. you don't like it. <laughs> I get it. That's not really the point of this video. It, this is more so for the people who have accepted it and they're going to continue collecting because really that's the ultimate, like, you're either going to continue or you're going to stop mm -hmm. with plastic-free packaging. So for the people who are going to continue, what are you going to do with it? Let us know in the comments down below. And that's pretty much all we've got for you on this week's episode of figure it out hopefully you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new we're always talking about star wars the black series here on the channel and if you'd like to support us in a more direct manner we do also offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month and we have a small collection of merch as well there are links for everything in the description of this video special thank you to our current channel members though your continued support is truly appreciated and thank you to everyone else out there for watching i'm nate joined with justin see you guys later and we will see you all next time on out of the basement